All right, so in this video, I'm going to show you how to install the Joint Orient Script Tool, uh, which will allow you to very quickly and efficiently uh, manipulate the local rotation axis for any joints that you've moved around. So very quickly, you can go into my website, animationmethods.com, under Scripts. You go under Joint Orient Tool, you click this Download button, or you can check out the video on how to install the script. So once you click on that download icon, you'll see the it's a zipped file. Say save it as. You'll download it. Uh, I'll save it into my desktop, and here it is. So I'll unzip it, extract here to the desktop, and you get delete this. You'll get the script, and you get a installation file. If you guys want to take a look at this and the only thing you need to worry about is the directory of where you paste the script and this little command here that you're going to need to use to load the script so very quickly you can go into documents Maya 2013 scripts and go to documents always Maya is going to be installed under documents unless you specified another direction so go under Maya I have 2013 version right now so I'm going to click there and then you're going to see this scripts folder and then this is where you're going to grab this one copy it or you can cut it whatever you want and then I'm going to paste it right in here and then close this out I'm gonna open Maya here and then usually if you have Maya open you'll have to close it and reopen it just so that it can read it can look into that folder again where you have the scripts or you can type in here if you don't want to close and reopen Maya just type re hash r e h a s h and then semicolon press enter and then that will refresh Maya to look again into that scripts folder. So that's a little trick that I learned. And then we're going to go in here into load script icon. And then you need to back up. Go back into that documents Maya scripts folder. And then you're going to see that script which was labeled comet joint orient dot mail. And you need to make sure that your script editor, you're under that mail tab, not Python. All right, so then you're gonna click on that script, hit open. And then now we've loaded that script into the, the scripting section. And then what we can do is hit enter and your number pad side, not enter where your letters are, but on the number side. And that will load that script into your history so now it's in here now you might be like well how do you run it how do you how do I get that script well you need to go back to that this little notepad and you'll notice down here it says type in this command so I'm gonna copy it go back into Maya and then you can close this out right now down here where, where it says mail if you don't have this open, you can right click where you have these little this little pattern here. Make sure you have command line checked on. And then that's will that will give you this little command line. And then I'm going to paste that simple code and then hit enter on my number pad side. And then this is the script right now. This is what we loaded and then this is how you get that script here now let's say I don't want to keep coming down here and typing in that code there right so what I can do here is I can create a shelf button up here on the shelf right so go back into your script editor now down here we can just paste that same code comet joint orient and then open and close parentheses semicolon and with that being down here I can just very quickly middle mouse click and drag it once we highlight it and then move it up to my shelf and then close this off and then now we have this little Maya button that I can click and automatically it's always gonna look into that 
documents folder where I have my scripts and it's gonna load this script so I never have to come down in here and type this or load the script anymore it's always gonna look in that same document scripts folder in Maya so that is how you install this script I can right click go to edit shelf comet joint orient and then under icon label give it a name like orient JT for orient joint and then save so now I know every time I close this that this button is for my orient joint tool so now when I come in here and start creating joints when I'm rigging right oops delete that I can select that if you click show axis that will show you the true local rotation axis so as you show all of these that X axis should always be pointing at the following joint and I have a video on how to set the uh, how to orient the joints so this video is just on how to use its script not so much on how to orient joints if you guys want to learn how to orient joints for rigging check out that video but for this video it's only how to set up the script so if you're rigging and you set your Y axis to be up you can set that here so the up axis is going to be Y my aim axis as you can see the aim axis so that X axis is always aiming at the next joint so aim axis is set OK to X up axis as I said Y they're pointing up so that's going to be Y and then world up is again going to be set to Y and then that's it you can every time you make a change here and something gets screwed up so I'm going to screw it up on purpose by pressing D and then moving that joint now notice that this X axis is no longer pointing at this joint up here and this X axis here that we're seeing is pointing out here so we need to fix that so with this script we're going to be able to automatically fix that really quickly so I'll just select this root joint hit orient joints and then that fix this one I can select this one hit orient joints and then now that one is pointing at that one and this one is now fixed and then I can do this well that one is already correct and then this one doesn't really matter but I can orient it and that is how we can quickly orient these joints or we can even manually tweak these so if I select that one and I say rotate uh, this is this would be like the X axis Y and Z so if I want to rotate this around the Y axis certain degrees like 15 I can manually rotate in the positive so notice how we're we're rotating that or I can turn it around the other way or I can just orient joints the way they were and very quickly and easily I can have this set up to the way that I like to so that is how you use this script again you can even what I'm gonna screw all these up on purpose and press D move that one D move this one hold D and move that one up press D and move this one down here so if we wanted to quickly uh, orient all of these joints together notice that the X is pointing that way X is pointing this way X so nothing here is working properly select the root edit say select hierarchy and that will actually select everything in our joints and then come in here to orient joints very quickly now everything is fixed X axis is pointing at that one that one works that one works everything works with this awesome joint orient script alright you guys want to learn how to rig I have a rigging book I have some sample video tutorials on my website animationmethods.com I also have an animators book and so hopefully you guys enjoyed these videos check me out 
check the videos out and I will catch you later on. Boom, baby.